What is going on everybody? It is Fitzmiller and the new E30 back here with another video. Now this is just going to be the introduction video to my new E30. I picked this thing up yesterday. I saw it on Facebook Marketplace and I was like, I, I should get that. So uh, I went and got it. Let me give you guys a little overview of this car and future plans. Let's get right into today's video. This is my 1987, I believe, E30, sporting the M20 as well as a five-speed manual transmission. It is indeed on some BBS style fives. A lot of the wheels do need hardware, but they hold air because these are two-piece welded. You've probably picked up on this, but it is a soft top, it is a vert. We're gonna do something about that rear, but for right now, we're not gonna worry about it. This is a 325i, which was one of the higher trims, I believe, back in the day. The interior of this car is nothing special. It is just a tan and black. It is five-speed manual, which makes this thing a whole lot more fun. This car does come with some common E30 issues, which are the odometer not working, the speedometer not working, and the RPM gauge not working. So, a little bit of backstory. With the previous owner of this vehicle, the previous, previous owner kept a lot, a lot of service records. There's a stack of about that thick and then the previous owner daily this vehicle the last couple months he actually had an 850i an old 91 that he was restoring so he had to get rid of the e30 but he drove this an hour to work every single day when i picked up the car yesterday we drove an hour to his house and then an hour and a half back to my house car did phenomenal took it out a little bit later that night i mean i cruised around just enjoying this thing. Under the hood, we have a stock M20 as well as a blown hood strut. I did check the coolant and the oil cold this morning before I started filming this video, and the coolant was new, he had refreshed it, the oil was right on the full line, looking good. Now it's time to start this thing up, show you guys a little bit more around the car, and we'll go from there. Being inside an old 80s car just feels so sick, let alone an old 80s BMW. So, here's a, here's a nice little start for you guys. Starts right up, man. My temp gauge is a little finicky sometimes. This is a common problem caused by the nut backing off of this little dial on the back of the cluster. I'm gonna check that out in the future when I dive into this car. Overall, the interior of this car is pretty decent. It is dirty, this seat is broken, and it has its little flaws, but for the most part, the interior is complete. The car even came with this little warning system at the top of the soft top. A pretty common E30 issue is the lifters, just like a Miata, you can hear them. Believe right now this thing has 1040 in it, and I was recommended by a friend to step up to 1540 to get rid of this noise. And the thicker oil will provide just a little bit more protection in this old car. And like I said earlier, I believe the clutch release bearing is going out because when the clutch pedal is all the way out, you can hear a little noise, you push it in, the noise goes away. Should be a clutch release bearing, somebody let me know. Overall, man, this thing purrs and I cannot wait to slam it. Let's talk about the future plans. What do you think we should do first to the E30? My vote is that since it turns on, runs and drives, like I said, it drove an hour and a half home yesterday. Dude used to daily it. I think after this video, I should go home, order bigger engine and trans mounts, so the mount and a spacer all in one, and then we're gonna order some coilovers and absolutely dump this thing. I do need to fix the soft top in the future, but I'm trying to be skating in this soft top, dude. Skating in the vert. That is going to be the main purpose for this car, which is to be able to enjoy it. It's going to be the Sunday car, but it's also going to be absolutely on its nuts. Before we lower it, we are going to knock out an oil change with the thicker oil, and then in the future, we are going to buff this thing as well. After we make sure this thing is low and running good, we'll dive into all the little stuff like the cluster, the seats, the interior, a little bit of bodywork, and the paint. So on the inside of this car, all four, four of the power windows work. If you guys will notice, there is no pillar. The back little windows roll down as well. So let's take this thing out for a drive, give you guys a little POV driving, and just get to experience the E30 with me. shifts like butter, drives like butter as well. This thing feels so good at the stock current blown strut height, but I believe we need to slam this thing, man. My 
my foot gets caught on the carpet sometimes with the clutch so I'm not that bad at driving I promise but dude this thing feels so good so smooth driving and mind you this car is from 1987 dude 1987 this car is almost double my age but anyways guys can't complain super happy I picked this thing up throttle response is beautiful the brakes are beautiful the steering is absolutely beautiful nothing in this car has not been taken care of and just like that boys we are home the e30 is home safe we got some oil stop by advance on the way home and that is gonna be it for today's video but if you guys have any questions any comments if you guys have any tips any things to check for anything I should know about e30s please let me know so this has been Fitz the new project and Yunos back here with another video and we will see you guys in the next one